Hello everyone and welcome back to the new channel. In this video, we shall take a look at Mentimeter. Now Mentimeter is a powerful tool for interactive presentations. So whether you're a seasoned educator or just starting out, Mentimeter can help you engage your students and help enhance your classroom experience. So in this video, we will take a look at how you can utilize Mentimeter in terms of your presentations as a teacher. A few benefits when it comes to using Mentimeter is, you know, you're able to increase student engagement, you can get real-time feedback, you can get personalized learning experiences, and it is highly collaborative. Now, once that you have signed up to Mentimeter, you can go ahead and see your dashboard or, you know, your home screen, something like this, where you will have a welcome to whatever your name is in here. And then it allows you to go ahead and take a look at an overview of Mentimeter. Now, if you take a look on the popular features right here, we have a lot of things like word cloud, poll, open-ended scales, ranking, and pin it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what these are, but it, essentially they are slides that you can go ahead and use in your presentation. But as a beginner tutorial in terms of Mentimeter itself, we'll go ahead and create, you know, a basic presentation and see what that looks like for you to go ahead and have a rough idea on how to utilize Mentimeter. So we will start off by creating a presentation by clicking on new Menti right here. So Menti here literally means a presentation. If you go ahead and click on the arrow right here, you can go ahead and create either a presentation, a quiz or a survey. There is also a beta version where you can go ahead and create a presentation using AI, or if you have a paid or if you are subscribed, you can go ahead and import your presentation, say for example, from something like Google Slides or even Microsoft Presentation. So let's go ahead and click on new Menti right here. And this will open up your editor right here. So usually at the very top left, it will be, you know, saying something like untitled presentation, but this is essentially the name of your Menti file. So I'm just gonna add in the name of the presentation here. Say for example, I want to create a presentation on sleep. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this right here. And then on the left-hand side column right here, this will go ahead and showcase all of the different slides that you have. At the moment, we only have one right here, which is this big one in the middle, where you can go ahead and start or create a presentation from scratch, use the templates, or once again, you can go ahead and import slides. Now, go ahead and take a look at the templates right here to give you a rough idea of what you can go ahead and do with Menti. So I would go ahead and recommend going through all of the slides right here just to give you a rough idea of what those are. But in this tutorial, I will go ahead and start something from scratch for you to have a rough idea. So when we go ahead and start from scratch, this will open up a pop-up right here on the left-hand side, which is basically asking you what kind of slide do you want to use? So there are categories right here. Now, the powerful thing about Menti is that you can allow or you can create slides that are highly interactive or collaborative where your students can go ahead and use something like their phone or their gadgets to go ahead and interact with the slides. So in terms of the interactive questions, there are a few things like multiple choices. So if you want to create some form of multiple choice and allow your students to choose whatever you wanted, you can go ahead and do that. There's some open-ended questions right here. A few rankings, guess the number. And then there is one here called Word Cloud, which basically allows you to uh, ask a question and then the students can go ahead and fill in different answers that they want. And then in real time, it will go ahead and display what that would look like. There's also slides here that allows you for some form of, of quiz or competition. So if you want to, you know, create a 
pop-up quiz at the start of the presentation or of the start of the class, you can go ahead and do so. And then, of course, if you want to go ahead and create normal content slides, there are the options right here. So you can add things like text, things like paragraph, image, number, heading, and so on and so forth. Once again, if you have the premium or a paid subscription, you can go ahead and integrate in your Google Slides, your PowerPoint, or even your Miro slides right here. Now, a tip when it comes to using uh, Mentimeter at the beginning or even allowing your you know, students to engage or come in into the presentation is to use this instructions slides. So when I click on this, it will go ahead and upload it. But what this usually does is it gives an instruction in terms of how the students are able to go ahead and interact with the slides that you have or that you are presenting. So this can be either uh, going into menti.com and then entering the code itself. So again, these codes differ per presentation and also using a QR code. Now, if you can see once that we've added the slide, we have added this pop-up right here, which is essentially just another edit or slide that allows you to interact with the slide that you have. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add in a new slide where, say for example, I'm going to add in a heading. So when we click on heading right here, we can go ahead and change the heading. Now, for you to change the heading, there will be these options right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a heading to this slide. So say, for example, the surprising science of sleep. And then you can go ahead and add in a subtitle or a subheading to say something like, you know, why we need it and how to get more. And there are some more options that you can go ahead and do. If you want to add in an image, you can go ahead and do that. Go ahead and play around with all of these smaller items right here or selections. Now, if you are, say, for example, you know, you want to add in comments on the slide itself, you can go ahead and change this right here. If you want to take a look at the, you know, how it interacts and stuff, you can go ahead and take a look right here. If you want to go ahead and change what the theme of the presentation of the slide looks like, you can go ahead and choose some default themes right here. And there you go. And then, of course, if you want to go ahead and add in some templates, go ahead and take a look at them. Now, let me go ahead and show you one of the interactive slides that you can go ahead and use. So I'm going to be choosing this interactive slide called Word Cloud. So let's go ahead and add in a slide right here. Now, I'm going to be asking something like, what are the benefits of sleep? And then essentially your classroom are able to go ahead and, you know, uh, add in their answer and then it will go ahead and be displayed there in real time. Now, a few things that you can also do is there is this speaker notes at the bottom. So say, for example, when you are creating a presentation and you want to add in some notes for you to remember, just go ahead and click on speaker notes right here. And then you're able to go ahead and add this. Now, if you take a look at the bottom as well, it says that there are notes that are shown using the Menti mode. Now, the Menti mode is basically your smartphone where if you connect your smartphone to your Mentimeter presentation, then it will act as a form of remote where you can go ahead and change the slides using your mobile phone. And then if you have notes, then the notes will be seen on your mobile phone as well. Now, once that you have created your presentation, you want to go ahead and share your presentation to your students. So once again, you can do that via the code that you have or the QR code right here. And then if you want to collaborate with different teachers, so say, for example, if you want them to go ahead and join your, you know, uh, currently what you're presenting and then collaborate, you can go ahead and add them by clicking on the plus right here on the top right. And you can go ahead and change the presentation access to anyone in the team. And then you can go ahead and add in their email and then add them into the team 
right here. So this will allow different, you know, uh, teachers to go ahead and make changes to your presentation or even, you know, add in comments. Now, once that you have done your presentation and you're ready to go ahead and present, to present it, all you need to do is to click on present on the top right. You can also even do a presentation on Microsoft Teams. So to do that, all you need to do is to click on the top right arrow right here where it says present in Microsoft Teams. So if you have a presentation or if you're doing a presentation online via Microsoft Teams, you can go ahead and do that right here. And then once again, I've mentioned about Mentimote. So essentially this will turn your smartphone into a presentation remote. And if you have any notes in there, you can go ahead and see them. Now, once that you have completed your presentation or even during you know, your presentation, you want to go ahead and see the results. The results are shown in real time, but if you want to go ahead and take a look at them once again, all you need to do is to click on the results right here uh, on the top. And essentially, all of the responses will be shown right here. So the number of uh, participants that you had, uh, what were the Q&A, if you had some form of quiz, uh, who was in the leaderboard, if you had some form of upvoting, then you can go ahead and see that right here as well. Now, if you want to go ahead and download your results, you know, uh, after your presentation, just go ahead and click on download on the bottom right. This will be really good when it comes to doing feedbacks or when it comes to doing, you know, post presentation or any presentation or meetings with uh, your co-teachers to showcase, you know, the engagement of the students. Now, just a few best uh, practices and tips to fully maximize the impact of Mentimeter. Go ahead and create engaging and interactive presentations. So it's really efficient to use visuals. Uh, go ahead and keep your questions clear and concise and encourage active participation. So by following these best practices, you can foster a more dynamic and effective learning environment. And there you go. So Mentimeter offers a wealth of possibilities for educators. So by incorporating it into your lessons, you can create more engaging, interactive, and effective learning experiences. So go ahead and you know play around with Mentimeter. Go ahead and use this, and you will discover how this will go ahead and transform your classroom into something more fun, something more engaging, and will give you the feedback that you need from your students as well. And there you go. I hope that you guys have found this tutorial useful. See you guys next time.